They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but plenty of insider secrets have managed to escape. Some might help you take home more cold hard cash, while others might just turn you off the whole enterprise. Here are a few casino practices the industry is less than upfront about. Dollars and cents. Let's clear one conspiracy up right away. No, casinos aren't hiding clocks in sunlight to better leech money out of you. 22, come on, come on, come on, 22, 22. What are you doing? What's 22. the matter with you? Not now, not now, just go away, not now, come on. At least not anymore. These days, the industry knows you've got a clock in your pocket. And the sunlight? Many casinos today are designed to include more natural light. And those that aren't have a good reason to keep it away. Glare on the cards, tables, and machines. But casinos could be tweaking another part of the environment to encourage the high rollers. The smell. One study found that when casinos pumped a pleasant but unidentifiable scent into the slot machine area on a Saturday night, gambling increased by a whopping 50%. Why? One guess is that the scent may have triggered some kind of sexual arousal, a more aggressive behavior pattern that led to more risk-taking. Sounds like a blast. Someone call Yankee Candle? They're sitting on a gold mine. Digital Gatekeeper Plenty of casinos offer freebies, like drinks, food, or free hotel stays. But only if you spend enough money. You don't get to live like a high roller if you don't play like a high roller. And these days, some casinos use automated systems to determine who gets rewarded, meaning there's no sweet-talking your way into VIP status. Computer says no. That's right. Many casinos use computers to track big and little spenders, alerting bartenders and servers who's earned a free cocktail and who's just kidding themselves. Caesars even uses a red and green light system, so the staff knows at a glance if you mean business. So don't waste your time waiting for freebies if you're not in it to win it. Work for it. There's a reason casinos often place slot machines nearest to the entrance. They're guaranteed moneymakers for the house. Experts advise, if a game is easy to learn and play, the casinos will charge you more to play it. But if you make the effort to learn slower-paced table games, you will be rewarded with far better odds. The house's advantage in table games drops significantly. One expert breaks it down like this. The house edge for blackjack is less than 1% when you practice perfect basic strategy, but with slots, 7 to 10%. And if you know your stuff, you stand a better chance still at games against other players, such as poker. I raise a million dollars, and to sweeten the pot, my assistant smithers. If you lose me, sir, may I say what an honor it's been to... Bet don't talk. Chip trick. There's something fun and alluring about the colorful little round chips casinos use in place of money, and casinos are banking on you not treating them like the cold, hard cash they represent. Psychologists say toy-like chips trick people into spending way more than they ever would if they were using paper money by disguising real money's true value. Chips and smart cards are psychologically guilt-reducing. Casinos know people gamble far more with virtual forms of money than with real cash. So next time you're in Vegas, be vigilant and remember those easier to spend tokens are worth just as much as the real thing. A big deal. Casinos don't advertise this, but just like waiters and other service industry jobs, tips are the main source of income for many dealers who often only make minimum wage otherwise. Thank you, gentlemen, for such a sterling service. Thank, Thank you. you. But unlike waiters or bartenders, it's possible that the only service a dealer will provide is taking your money with a smile and leaving you with nothing in return. This puts the player in a bind. Dealers need them to make a living wage through tips, while the casino needs the dealer to keep the player happy at the tables and spending. But the only one guaranteed to come out on top is the house. Chips, please. There's a very good chance you lose all this money here tonight. I know. And even if you happen to win, there's an even better chance that in the long run, we'll win it back. I know. That's why one longtime former dealer warns players to ignore the dealer's advice, fake optimism, and so-called excessive tip whoring. Because, after all, when the dealer wins big, he or she doesn't tip you. Near-miss bliss. Casinos count on the psychological effects of something called the near-miss effect to keep players pulling those giant levers or calling out hit me on a hand to blackjack. Hit me, 20. Hit me, 21. Hit me, 22. Scientists found that players respond strongly to near misses, moments where they almost won, like getting two cherries on a slot machine or missing hitting 21 by a single card. A similar study found these instances of near misses triggered a release of dopamine, similar to drug use in their subjects' brains. So even if the losses were excruciating, the high of almost winning sent them straight back to try again. So next time you almost win big, don't take it as a sign. It's just your mind playing tricks on you. Remember, know when to fold them. Know when to walk away and know when to run. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks for watching.
Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this other cool stuff we know you'll love.